सो हेलो स्टूडेंट सो अगेन आई हैव प्लान फॉर द डिजाइन ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट्स वन सो इन दिस फर्स्ट यूनिट वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दी द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट्स सो इन द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट्स फर्स्ट विल हैव द डेफिनेशन फॉर दी द डिजाइन ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट्स सो हियर इट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज द मशीन डिजाइन इज द क्रिएशन ऑफ न्यू एंड बेटर मशीन्स एंड ऑल्सो इम्प्रूविंग द एग्जिस्टिंग वंस so it means that a design is the creation of something new idea or uh, improving the existing one which is already present in the market so we are going to be modify the existing one so now the classification of the machine design so the machine design it will be classified into three types one is adaptive design second one development design and third one is the new design so what do you mean by the adaptive design so adaptive design it is nothing but as the name itself where you are going to be adapt the design which is already exist in the market okay so here for this purpose for the adaptive design a designer is not required any special skill a ordinary person can make the alterations in the adaptive design a smaller alter suppose if you have the one element so in the element he is just going to be make a smaller alteration like changing the sharper edge into an curve or an a smaller alteration changing the dimensions of the any product like that in the adaptive design is going to be happen so now we'll come to the development design so development design it is nothing but it is an new product development so for this purpose a design engineer it's required a scientific training and also it should be the ability in order to modify the existing one uh, with a new idea and by adapting the new materials and also by adapting the method of manufacturing different method of manufacturing that all includes in the development design so we are working on the development design as a in the dmm1 where all the products are existed and we are going to replace with the material and we are going to replace with the some dimension and also the method of manufacturing so this is very important and then third one is the new design so new design it requires a creative ability as a design engineer you should have the technical ability and also lot of research are required and you should have the creative thinking only those design engineers are Uh, suitable in the new design products